Nope, I just can't. Oh well, I'll just record it like this. You notice I wear a lot of the same shirts in my videos. I actually uh, do change. It's just <clears throat> I'm too lazy to pick past the like first three or four shirts that I last put in my cajones, so that's why I always have the same ones. <clears throat> Anyways, it is about three in the morning and I just came outside to smoke because my baby wants to be with her nana right now. She's still awake, of course, man. She doesn't sleep. She hates sleeping. She's so weird. I don't know. I don't know what's what's the deal with her. I think she just has a lot of nightmares or something. She just hates sleeping. Like, she, ugh. it's very frustrating. Um. Anyways, this is a something I'm working on at the moment. Well, not at this exact moment, but at this moment in time. Um. I'm putting together this CNC machine that we ordered online. I got part of it done over here, but I actually uh, need to do a little troubleshooting because it's not uh, going on as it's supposed to because these screws here are a little too, uh, excuse me, tight. Um, they're too, I need to loosen them basically, but it's going to be kind of a problem because I put uh, Gorilla Glue to connect them because that's what the steps said for me to do from the manual online, so that's what I did, and now that I need to change it, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out. can't send it back, I want to put it together so we could get started on making orders with this thing so I could have a constant steady income and not have to worry about about money so we could fix up our um our now um basically woodworking shop <laughs> because it used to be a weight room there's still this piece of equipment here that we're leaving in here for now um, but now it's basically our, our woodworking room, but we gotta work on it. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in here, but it's coming along pretty good. If you'd seen how it looked before to what it looks like now, you'd be pretty impressed, I promise. I know, I know, there's not much to be impressed about. It looks pretty shitty still, because it's in progress, but, um... Yeah, I'll post videos later when it's actually like badass and and when we have our other shop that we're gonna work on, which is basically next door to us. It's this. Well, fucking let me go show it. Let's see if I could turn it back on this thing. Of course. Of course. I'm using Marco's phone. Because mine sucks. Oh, it's cold. Shit, man. It's so fucking weird. It was fucking hot as balls yesterday, and now it's super cold. But yeah. Anyways, I don't know if you can see it in this lighting. Yeah, you can. That building over there, that's like all of that. It's basically an old house. Apparently some old man used to live there. Um, and I think it burned or something. But anyways, we're gonna fix it up and make it our, our business place. But right now, we're just focusing on getting this one set up. Because that is gonna take a lot of money. So we're gonna have to... Bring in some revenue first, um, before that gets started, unless the government actually goes through with this six months of 
economic stimulus payments then we'll actually be able to get it done a lot quicker so or i mean we could probably get it done pretty quick too if we get this thing all set up and put together right away and i get the website set up because i have a website for us um i'm talking about by the way my my and marco's business van woodworks um it's basically a woodworking business um so far we've done stuff like um butcher's blocks cutting boards coasters swings uh display tables cornhole boards uh what else have we done we've done a whole bunch of different things a lot of like little random things here and there <clears throat> for ourselves and um yeah so it's something that kind of like spontaneously happened with us as far as um making money because we didn't really have like a set plan in motion for it it just was all very organic it just happened i mean it didn't just happen like oh obviously we did work to make it happen but we had opportunities just happen to come our way is what i meant we just happened to have you know the things that we needed to fall into place in order for us to feel motivated and you know um strong enough in our minds to move along and and create something here so yeah i mean it's a struggle don't get me wrong every day um because it's it does get overwhelming at times i'm not gonna just sit here and try and say that it's so easy to create your your the reality that you want to see um it's it's not but it's been worth it so far and i haven't had any regrets as far as this process i mean regardless of you know whatever happens in the future as far as my relationship with marco this is always going to be something that's going to exist i know it is like and it's going to be something that is going to benefit not only my daughter but myself and my friends and family and a lot of other people in the future it's going to be a big factor i know it is this along with other businesses that i have lined up for me to start manifesting right now i haven't <clears throat> focused on the other ones as much because this is the one that is going to basically be the foundation of it all so i have to put more of my energy into this one <clears throat> and get it set to where it's just running by itself where i'm not having to be constantly you know every day putting in work effort to make it continue existing i'll have a staff by then that'll be able to you know have all the gears in motion for me for us so so that we can focus on other things on doing other things a lot bigger things so yeah plans <laughs> all right i'm going inside now i'm fucking tired